Hi there, Cancerians. This is Nicola here, Remembrance into the Light. I hope you're all well. I'm going to come forward with some light guides for you. So I am a fellow Cancerian and um, yeah, I'm going to bring forward some um, guidance for you and some light guides to assist you in the rising of the Cancer. Now, as Cancerians, we hold this sort of sense of this underbelly, this softness within ourselves, with this outer shell. And until people really get into the softness, they don't really quite understand that soul or that journey because we can be quite guarded. But once we get a little bit sort of like exposing um, beyond that shell, we can start to expand. And sometimes that can be our inner hero strength by literally having a sense of guarding because it gives us the ability to really see and um, as we observe others within our field okay that ge na dadis ya ngada di bokasia ngala wo si ke do banga ya dadis ya ke na makia but it also can be um a failure point or something that we need to work on our inner world with where we hold on to this sort of suppressive um, past trauma that's in our field because we're so sensitive with our emotions. Sometimes we hide and store it within our shell and we don't like to show it to other people. So as we sort of connect in with the planetary system in this now moment, let's have a little look at that for Cancerians and how we can actually shift that and help ourselves move more into that more of a strength and warriorship to help us with our forward journeys okay yeah that is is young yeah that that is your gang go look at see i could do what course you make it and my course you make it them sometimes when we go inwards in our shell we can overthink things too yeah yeah now that is young yeah that is is your big yama course yeah because with the overthinking then we then manifest from that because we are powerful manifests Manifestors, thank you. Well, I hear not that is your goal, like I see your back in the mocos, your back in the day is your back all your back eat and a mocosha. This is why we scuttered, scuttle to the side this way and that way to have a look from this point of view. And then we move over here and have a look from that point of view. And then we move back here and then we contemplate and then we make up our own little stories in our minds. And from that sort of perspective, as being a Cancerian, is that we can overcomplicate because we go into the mind too much. And that's where our emotions sit. That's where they're created. So when we move out of the mind and down more into the heart space, and we can really align with the outer shell of the warrior self that we are, we can firm up our inner jelly of being our emotions and see it from a positive perspective because when we do so, that's when we find our power and we can then bring in the synchronicities to see it from that place. As a co-creator with the universe, we allow ourselves to shine a little bit deeper rather than coming from mind and overcomplicating with mind from an emotional sensitive state, we can then align to the highest probability so that all that, all of that that is being offered from the universe can be taken because we're sitting in a higher timeline, a higher vibration. If you're in the jelly of it all and emotional and in your head, then you will then sit within there and then work on that inner light to strengthen up into the harder shell of the of the crab. Da, ye no ba si o ma ki ta li xia ma. Ke na da ti xia ko ka lu xi, ke da na a ko shang da da. I xiang ko du ko ba o ko da da, e ki an a ren ba ren ba. You hold so much passion inside of yourself and you don't necessarily show it to everybody, do you? There is so much compassion inside of yourself, but you don't necessarily feel it, do you? It's that sort of feeling is that sometimes we don't show it because we hide our true thoughts and feelings. It's to honour, to absolutely honour and have compassion for ourselves and not judge ourselves through the process of that being this energetic flowing system, of that star system, of this um, 
type or template of being okay so it is uh, it's in written within the stars as that's what we came here to experience is what does it feel like to hold that inner light but not be able to express it um, until you can open up to the expression of it as we connect deeper with people so it's okay but it's to honor that understanding that will allow us to strengthen into the harder shell into then actually being more open to allow but it is there as a a defense mechanism yes but it's not to see it from a a negative um, perspective it's to see it as a place of strength within us as a as a leader as a leader as a nurturing leader for others around us to support them with our mission that we came here to um, bring into fruition now so no more too much thinking No more too much thinking. It's about what is presented will be shown. But it is also to use your discernment, yes, but from a positive perspective of being. Because when we can open up our hearts and our minds to a positive way, then we can be led through that process. So if you're finding yourself a little bit stuck in those thought patterns and in those lower emotional states, we're just going to come in and give some clearing codes for that of fear, anger and sadness of anything that has happened in the past that may be restricting your flow in this now moment. Okay. Now, so just go inside of yourself right now and just place those intentions to let go of anything that is sitting subconsciously in your inner shell that is creating a force field of rejection for anything that may come forward where you may be overthinking. Thinking. For you know exactly what to do. Don't doubt it. So align to that of the universe and bring that light into yourself to harden, to sensitive, sensitize, thank you, from a positive perspective only. Because our inner understanding is that of strength and not of sensitivity that will plummet us into overthinking so just trust the process that every single step that you take, every synchronicity that comes your way, will bring forward the fruit into fruition what is needed for you in that now moment. As you are great, great, great manifestors, but we don't see it when we're coming from a place of that jelly inside, of that wobbling jelly, of that sensitivity when we overthink within our minds. So allow everything to be as the way it needs to be. And you may have a lesson or two along the way, and that is where we see our growth and expansion. But don't don't be frightened of that at all. Let your guard down sometimes to experience. And then when you do, allow yourself to just grow a little stronger inside as you are out. Mm. so just have that little bit of settlement integration within the system it's a little pep talk a little talk from the inner knowing that everything is absolutely in its right path for you it's been presented just allow it to play out to see it from a higher perspective of being to know and have faith and trust the process that everything will work out for your greater good now so I hope those codes serve you well and I hope that little guidance serve you well also 
Just know that the inner strength will shine the deeper you refine your understanding of who you totally are and what you came here to do. And the synchronicities will align you. So just have faith that everything will come in to be the way you need to be, the way it needs to be, so that you can build up and expand into the greater knowing of who you truly are. So just dwell on that, contemplate on that, anchor that light in, that you are strong. You are not weak with your emotions as a sensitive. You are here. You are here to change the world. Take care, everyone. Check out all my details below, nicolalight.com and Starseed U. We're holding all my online courses. Check out also my Patreon as well if you want to have a greater connection with me where I bring in some exclusive information. So I do hope these codes serve you well and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.